Hi guys, today I want to show you a simple tutorial in Fusion 360. We have this little tool here, it's like a timer for our electric toothbrush. It shows you the actual time and also the time how long you brushed your teeth, so it's very handy. It came with this little holding device and it had a um, suction cup holder but uh, it broke and I tried to attach it to our mirror with like this little poster strips but because it was so moist in our um, bathroom it fall down so now I'm trying to use this little suction device from IKEA you can buy them there and it comes with a little basket but the basket doesn't hold very well and it falls off all the time because it's too heavy so but I think for this thing it should be working it has a nice little hook here so you can attach it and the good thing is like the counterpart is already available on Thingiverse so you don't have to design it yourself uh, here you go and that's what we making today so at the end it will look like this something like this and like the snoring in the back that's my doggy <laughs> so let's begin first of course you need to open Fusion 360 and then we create a sketch then choose the plane you want to draw the sketch on and I use a center rectangle and now you have to put in the measurements of the device and so I don't know if you can see it whatever and I added 0.1 millimeter to the measurement so when you were printing something in 3D if you use like exact measurements it probably won't fit so just add a little bit extra and it should be fine so after create the rectangle I remove the restraints so we can use the fillet option later on without any errors maybe there's another way but that's how I do it And as a value, we need to have half of the height. So we have a perfectly half round uh, edge. And you don't have to calculate by yourself, you just uh, put in the number and divide it by two, and Fusion 360 will do the rest. Now we need to create an outline to have like the, the wall for the whole thing. Just press O for offset and I think 2 millimeters should be fine. Okay, now we need to extrude. Just mark the outline we just created and then press E extrude and then we need again to measure the device it's 24 millimeter but I give it one millimeter more so there you have it that's like our base for the timer. It looks a little bit strange so I need to change the viewing mode. So we need to go to uh, camera, perspective and now it looks better. Now we go to Thingiverse. And look 
for the hook to connect it with the suction cup. If you see, you can see there's a lot of pre-made designs already, but we are looking for the hook. And there it is. I will put the link in the description below. Go to Think Files and then go to the slim version because we don't need a thick one and just save it somewhere but before we can use it in our design we need to convert it so Fusion 360 can work with it because right now it's just a mesh for that reason we need to create a new design and then go to insert insert mesh then use the file you just downloaded and just click OK. The unit type is millimeter. So the reason we do it in, uh, um, in, um, in his own file is we need to delete the history to convert it. And if you do this in our main design, we can jump back if you do an error or something like that. So go to modify, go to mesh, mesh to B-Wrap. The body is already selected and then just click OK. And there you have it. You have a body now, which you can use in Fusion 360. Now save it. To insert it in your main design, you first also need to save your main design. Otherwise, you can't import it. And then you just drag and drop it into your design. Just click OK. And now we need to add something for the hook to be mounted on. Create a new sketch and choose like the top of your body and again a center rectangle and the height is like the height of your uh, body we created before and the width is 20 millimeter. Then click E for extrude and extrude it for two millimeters that should be fine but now we lost two millimeters and we need to add those so the timer will fit into the uh, holder Now before we can move the hook, we need to detach it from the original file. Just click right, uh, right click on the, and then break link. Then go to body, right click move, and then move it up. I'm just eyeballing it here because it doesn't matter too much. So if you think that's uh, fine, then move it up a little bit. And if 
everything is okay, just click OK. And now we need to combine both bodies to one body so we can print it. Go to modify, combine, then as target body select the first body and as tool body select the hook. Then operations join, new component, uh, component and there you have it. There's your new component and inside there's your combined body. You can turn off all the other bodies and components. And now we make it a little bit fancier and create a little fillet. Press F for fillet and then select the outer line and I played a little bit around and two millimeters looked fine. Now we need to export the body into an STL file. Right click, save as STL, and then binary and high, and then just click OK. Then save it somewhere. Now you can import it into your favorite slicer. I rotated the design 180 degrees so it will use less support material. And I use 30% infill and 0.3 millimeter layer height because it doesn't need to be extra fancy. Then just click OK and there you have it. Now you can save the G-code and send it to your 3D printer. And this is how it looks like after it finished printing. As you can see, it's a snug fit. And now we can put it into a bathroom. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.